Welcome to the part 4 of the lecture on extended finite element method. This part discusses the various types of enrichment functions used in XMA. There are mainly three types, the strong discontinuity enrichments, weak discontinuity enrichments and crack enrichments. Let us take a simple one dimensional bar problem to understand how the various discontinuities work. The discontinuity is provided in between nodes 2 and 3 which are shown in red color as they are enriched. A modified finite element shear function. Earlier models used a simple modified shear function in this form, where ni is the conventional finite element shear function and omega i is the part of the element in between the crack and the node i. The figure shows how this jump enrichment can affect the shear function for the simple one dimensional problem discussed above. One problem with this type of jump function is that it provides similar strain fields on both sides of the discontinuity. This is in contrast to the independent physical response of the segments anticipated in a cracked element. Another drawback is the lower number of degrees of freedom required by the approximation than the other recently available techniques. This may directly affect the quality of approximation field and the crack analysis. The heavy side function. Different definitions have been adopted for the heaviside function over the years. The first type of heaviside function can be defined as a step function. Then, the fine, upon application of this function, the basic finite element formulation reads as this. The figure, uh, figure A illustrates the way the step function stimulates the discontinuity. Upon further examination of the figure and the finite element formulation, it is clear that this is not an interpolation. A simple remedy to this shortcoming is, the, is to shift the step function around the node of interest. This figure illustrates how this has been guaranteed. This figure illustrates that in the shifted case, the enriched shape function vanishes at both nodes 2 and 3. As a result, the direct effect of enrichment is limited only to the middle element which contains a discontinuity. Application of the jump function on a quadrilateral element may lead to a discontinuous field. The deformation field includes all potential displacement field independently for both sides of the crack. The strain fields also remain independent for both sides of the crack compared with the previous case, the sine function. An alternative heavy side enrichment function is the sine function. So this figure illustrates the way the sine function stimulates the discontinuity. Again, the finite element approximation is no longer an interpolation and a simple shifting technique as in the above case guarantees the interpolation. This figure illustrates the effect of the modified approximation on the one dimensional crack problem. Again, the enriched shape function in the shifted form vanishes at both nodes 2 and 3. As a result, the direct effect of the enrichment is limited only to the middle element which contains the discontinuity. It is important to note that the choice of jump enrichment does not affect the overall solution. Strong tangential discontinuity. In a strong tangential discontinuity, a jump exists in the tangential direction, whereas the displacement remains continuous in the normal direction. The conventional approach for modeling a strong discontinuity by heavy side function is now modified to stimulate the tangential discontinuity. This is achieved by defining only one extra enrichment degree of freedom per node in the tangential direction. The x from approximation can be written as this, where th is the tangential direction unit vector. The effect of approximation can be best viewed in this figure. All nodes of the finite element that include a tangential discontinuity should be enriched by the tangential heavy side enrichment function. Crack intersection. The basic equation for x from enrichment requires further modification if two or more cracks intersect within a finite element as illustrated in the figure. The x from the approximation for the displacement for an element cut by two intersecting cracks may be written as this. Some researchers have proposed a more efficient approach that avoids the use of the cross terms. Weak discontinuity enrichment. The x from approximation can be used for weak discontinuity problems by replacing the heavy side function with an appropriate enrichment function, xi of x, where xi of x is the weak discontinuous enrichment function 
defined in terms of the signed distance function to see the operation. The same one dimensional problem discussed in the beginning of the lecture is considered. The only difference is the assumption of a weak discontinuity in the arbitrary location within the middle element. Figure A illustrates the signed distance function for the simple problem. This figure depicts how the original shaped functions are transformed as an effect of the enrichment by the weak discontinuous enrichment function. According to the figure, a kink is in the displacement field is introduced. As a result, a jump in its derivative, that is, a discontinuity in the gradient of the function, is anticipated. The weak discontinuity enrichment function vanishes at both nodes 2 and 3. As a result, the interpolation is guaranteed without any shifting. In addition, the direct effect of the enrichment on displacement is limited only to the middle element which contains a weak discontinuity. However, an indirect influence exists due to different values of the derivatives of shape enriched shape functions. Crack tip enrichment There are many different types of crack tip enrichments used for different types of materials. In this section, a brief, a brief about isotropic enrichment functions are given. Isotropic enrichment functions are the basic and the most used type of crack tip enrichment functions. It is important to note the term root r sin theta by 2 is discontinuous along the crack. As a result, once the enrichments are adopted for crack tip, uh, crack tip element, the discontinuous field can be automatically generated and there is no need for the inclusion of the heavy side part of the approximation.